अगर पिछले पाँच छः साल को छोड़ दें आप उसके पहले के बीस साल देख लिए एम एस एम ईज हैव नॉट अडोप्टेड टेक्नोलॉजी एट ऑल तो हमारा बिगेस्ट कॉम्पिटिटर एक्चुअली पेपर पेन है पेपर पेन हाँ बिगेस्ट कॉम्पिटिटर आई लव द स्टार्ट अप स्पेस फॉर वट एवर नेगेटिव दैट वी आर हियरिंग इज एंड दैट वन सीज अक्रॉस इंडिया दैट यंग पीपल आर सो एस्पिरेशनल दे आर वेरी अनपोलॉजिटिक दैट हम बनाएंगे और बना सकते हैं लार्ज बिजनेस एंड न्यू एज बिजनेस एस एम बी does not think themselves to be smb they think themselves i am the biggest company today <laughs> around they demand attention they have problems which are very real and they don't have the resources to set up and consume as you know as an enterprise has. yeah you know and also it is very heartening for all of us that whatever ups and downs might come what what none of us can disagree to is that the indian domestic market and the indian sme market is a very large and if we serve them well a paying market and you can go on to build large businesses large revenue आज हम फाउंडर्स मैनिफेस्टो में ला रहे हैं एक बहुत ही एजुकेशनल कॉन्वर्सेशन और हम सब इसमें सीखेंगे क्योंकि व्हेन इट कम्स टू इंडिया दे आर सेवेंटी मिलियन एसएमईज एंड सात करोड़ एसएमईज हैं और हम सब सोचते हैं ये एसएमईज कौन हैं और इनसे बिजनेस इनके साथ कैसे किया जाए टुडे विथ मी इज एन ऑन्टरप्रेनर हु हैज़ बिल्ट अ फिनमिनल बिजनेस विथ एस एंड वी विल लर्न ऑल अबाउट इट एंड हाउ यू नो वी कैन टेक समथिंग फ्रॉम दिस फॉर आर जर्नीज एंड विथ मी इज ऑल्सो टूडे अविनाश दीप but from atel business someone whom i deeply respect because of the way he has worked and built in the sme market so with both of them sumit adrawal from vepar and avinash deepak let's have this conversation thank you so much for joining mm. today pleasure thank you sumit will begin with you sabko please tell us the vepar story bahut acha naam hai of your startup so tell us about vepar the way we started vepar i think that's very interesting Uh, after leaving into it uh, my core uh, agenda was to build something for the indian market and uh, in during that period i joined a, st- a small startup called spoil for a short period of time and during that while working in that startup i uh, you know it was we, we used to interact and everybody on my father's side mother's side is in business right so we keep interacting very like, regularly uh, so one of my cousin brothers who runs a small manufacturing unit in firozabad right so he asked that can you uh, you know build a mobile app for me which has receivable payable sales and purchase yeah. so that th- uh, that was the point when i and shubham who is my co-founder and also my brother in law so we got together and we thought let's build it for him so vyapar actually was born for uh, solving the problem of one person and that was our uh, cousin who runs a small manufacturing unit in firozara and he was very confident that if you build it for me i will make sure at least 10 of my friends will use and we were happy that at least somebody will use what we built and that's how vyapar started uh, interesting part is we at that time also we named it vyapar and we have not changed the name though we have changed the logo four five times till now <laughs> <laughs> which year was this uh, so this was 2015 end actually 2016 you can say huh. uh, when we actually started building uh, just two of us and uh, started coding and creating the first version of the app and put it on play store yeah you know this is very interesting me soch rahi thi when you were answering this that your surname is agarwal aur okay, kitne agarwal honge is desh mein ki sab vyapar mein honge aur vyapar kar rahe honge more or less bahut hai ha aur nahi use kar rahe nahi use kar rahe bahut kam log use kar to you know tell us because you have very successfully entrenched yourself in this market in sme market jahan pe kaha jata hai ki technology adoption digital adoption abhi bhi is not that omnipresent aapne kaise ye kiya hai how have you found this adoption among smes so i would say it has been a journey uh, agar aap 2016 ki baat kare aur uh, if you talk about now right there are a lot of things that have changed uh, i think we were lucky that we were at the right time in the market uh, what we could do we have tried to do the best which is build the product very very simple uh, i mean we'll talk more about uh, as we go in the in, the, in our conversation about the competition and different type of uh, products that exist but i think uh, market is one of the uh, the external factors is one of the reasons 
why uh, this kind of adoption is happening so fast you know so jo aap keh rahe hain ki tailwinds the uh, for the adoption to happen before i go to avinash tell us about vyapar vyapar karta kya hai so vyapar is basically a complete uh, holistic end to end billing and accounting solution for msmes isko hum business solution bolte hain bechte bolte hain externally people call it as billing solution or accounting solution lekin the way we are building it it's a end to end uh, business solution kyunki isme hum uh, billing inventory management uh, accounting ke core pieces gst ka uh, tax filing and calculations Uh, providing online store for growth for the business which which are part of more of crm uh, you know uh, some part of the payroll expense management so it's sabhi kuch usme rehta hai right so because businesses see this or function like a connect integrated piece businesses khud bhi alag ye cheeze alag alag nahi dekhte unke liye sab kuch integrated piece hota hai right so we have built a holistic solution for an msme जो कि अगर 30-40 लाख रुपए के यू नो टर्नओवर पे है वहाँ से लेकर 15-16 करोड़ 20 करोड़ के टर्नओवर तक के लोग आराम से यूज़ कर सकते हैं एंड दे कैन रन द कंप्लीट बिजनेस ऑन इट दे डोंट हैव टू गो आउट ऑफ इट सो व्यापार से पहले व्हाट वाज़ द प्लेटफॉर्म दे वर यूजिंग सो द यूजर्स हु कम टू व्यापार राइट इसमें मेजोरिटी पीपल आर दंस हु दमसेल्स वर यूर नॉट यूजिंग एनी तो सेवेंटी एटी परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल हु कम टू व्यापार आर दंस हु आर नॉट यूजिंग एनी टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर देयर बिजनेस ऑन देयर ओन so though they might have accountants who was using tally busy mark or the uh, other products right but unke khud ke liye koi software nahi tha to vyapar is basically penetrating that space jahan pe business themselves are adopting technology you know abhinash i want to ask you airtel business today airtel is a very very credible brand vyapar ne aakar vyapar kiya hai uh, smes <laughs> ke sath but airtel is a household name uh, and you are also very entrenched in the sme space what are one or two things that makes you know you one you could tell us about smes that got you entrenched in them and and what keeps that trust going our principal fabric that we have as an organization is that understanding the customer to the depth where is he coming from in his journey where is he now and hopefully to understand where is he going hmm. as you see airtel everything that we do is around the type of customer whether it's an individual customer home customer student you know a working professional a small business medium business enterprise or a global customer it's centered around understanding the need we in fact treat this as a competitive advantage compared to the rest of the industry then starts the other journey in terms of what can we do to fulfill that specific need wherein come in our people our products our infrastructure our processes technology and so on and so forth as far as the smb industry is concerned we have been able to understand firstly who are they how are they different from one versus the other right from a kirana store to a mid sized startup for that matter right from a organization which is into logistics of delivering a certain something using trucks to a highly digitized organizations like vyapar you know themselves understanding these segmenting these we build separate approaches for each one of them the one that is closest to my heart is what we do with early stage startups mm. how do we take products which are on a platform which are easy to consume which help these organizations deliver best bang for the buck for that matter ek cheez hum achhi tarah se karte hain ke sath which is very successful jo naya startup hota hai their intent is to reach out uh, to a specific audience communicating their product होता है क्या है कि दे स्पेंड हंड्रेड रुपीज ऑन मार्केटिंग एंड दे कार्पेट बॉम द एंटायर कंट्री एंड द रिस्पॉन्स रेट्स आर लाइक पॉइंट वन परसेंट एज अ लॉस ऑफ मनी एक्चुअली वी हेल्प देम टेक द मैसेज टू स्पेसिफिक कंज्यूमर्स वर आर आर प्लेटफॉर्म विच हैव पोटेंशली गोइंग टू शो इंटरेस्ट फॉर दैट स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट राइट कीपिंग द प्राइवेसी एंड द इंटेंट ऑफ अ कस्टमर एट सेंटर फोकस so for example recently we were working with a cosmetic brand uh, uh you know they wanted to identify women in tier 2 cities working women and we helped them right we knew the women which were okay to receive such a message uh we knew where they were who they were and we sort of relayed this message and after they showed interest we allowed the brand to interact with that specific individual keeping again as i said privacy at center focus therefore 
the amount of effort that they have to spend in growth in spreading the message yeah. the cost involved is far more efficient you know uh, we have automated the entire tool the tool has ready made cohorts which are we have approximately 100 of them now which the brand can just use as a click of a button no need to even contact us and send the message out uh, another thing that we do with the you know uh, you know some of the uh, medium sized companies is that we help them identify where to put up stores mm. like uh, you know if you set up there is a car services company that we have you know servicing of cars is what they do uh, they started and they wanted to set up 40 stores we help them identify places where there is significant car ownership in the specific area we help them communicate their message to car owners and not just just about anybody you know uh, uh, which was which was irrelevant therefore they were able to get to roi states far more you know ahead of time than usually expected um, this is what we do uh, you know as such we are very passionate about young organizations which are sort of coming about those kids bright children out of bright kids out of college which are trying to make a living change the country and we support them with if nothing else uh, best practices as to how we have succeeded as an organization and how that can be you know consumed and replicated i personally participate in those conversations some of my colleagues participate in those conversations and we are very passionate about driving the smb space you know uh, in terms of what they do as well as of course adopting some of the products that we have you know when you were answering i was just thinking that the data that and the intelligence and context which you will have as airtel business would be is so powerful and 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 with that i would love to understand and for all of us ki ye na ye sme sme kya hai kyunki we say 70 million smes in our country they are the maximum employment generators in india but just it's like it's too huge a universe from a startup perspective from a young business perspective if i have to look at smes and understand if you can give us some understanding of how you segment this market see the segmentation is uh, out of the 70 million saath crore jo hamare aise nahi hai the first top 1 crore is what everybody is trying to make sense you know on to begin with once that consumes consumption happens takes place then you have a far more effective ready cost effective product to take to the next layer and the next layer mm. so the market is essentially spread into broadly four layers what we call is uh, micro you know uh, uh, organizations small organizations small businesses then we have the medium businesses and then we have something called mid market mm. mid market for example are you know the smbs which are on the cusp of turning in the next 5 years time they will turn into being a proper full fledged established enterprise right okay uh, we have listed them out we we treat them very differently um, and they are a great platform for us to learn the journey that they have been through such that we can create products for far more younger organization so these are the four segments that we really have at least as we as an organization many organizations split it across seven or more depending on the product stage that they are in the engagements they are in as far as the industry is concerned uh, yes i agree that uh, um, uh, organizations like vapar what they're doing there is tremendous amount of digital consumption potential that they have which will drive india to the multi trillion dollar you know economy that we are trying to you know get to um, especially in tier 2 and tier 3 where the challenges are very different from tier 1 cities uh, as such you know uh, density of living is far more wide up by geography so you can't use the same principles that you use in a in a high rise you know uh, uh, what do you call high density city like the top metros you have to have a very different philosophy of how do you deliver how do you connect how do you store how do you have your you know back end stitched how do you serve uh, that is evolving very rapidly as far as tier 2 is concerned where most of these small and medium businesses really exist um, but yes uh, it's very exciting for us it's very exciting for us to you know work with the uh, ecosystem people who support smbs we ourselves doing our bit and playing you know with the entire ecosystem is very exciting for us to basically drive that you know i want to ask both of you sumit abhinash is 
you know when it comes to sme there is still this perception that ho raha hai digital adoption but they are not the fastest ones to adopt and especially you are in a space jahan pe historically you know you don't have a very transparent system of uh, filings returns or you know cash flow dikhana aur ye sab what do you have to say because you are on the ground you are meeting these uh, smes every day what do you think what is changing and what is the same so if you ask me uh, about the adoption i think you are right uh, they are slow in terms of adoption because it's a mindset uh, change right any anywhere when it comes to behavior change it takes time yeah and uh, i think it has speeded up very rapidly in the last 4 5 years and the speed is uh, going to increase even more in the times to come uh, right so uh, if you see the, uh, the the speed with which the upi and everything got adopted even the businesses are uh, even in i mean avinash was talking about tier 2 tier 3 right if you go to in go in tier 2 and tier 3 uh, towns there also we see now upi getting adopted very very so much which a question you said it will get speeded up more in the coming years what are one or two levers which makes you feel very confident ki ye adopt karenge unka incentive kya hai fast adoption ke liye main batata hu uske do teen do teen reasons hain एक रीजन ये है कि यूपीआई का अडॉप्शन सो व्हाई यूपीआई अडॉप्शन बिकॉज नाउ व्हेन आई गो इनटू शॉप राइट आई हैव सीन इट फर्स्ट हैंड व्हेन कंज्यूमर कम्स टू द बिजनेस द कंज्यूमर विल से आई हैव ओनली यूपीआई टू पे अब बिजनेस के पास कोई चॉइस नहीं है दे हैव टू स्टार्ट एक्सेप्टिंग यू तो बिजनेसिस डोंट अडोप्ट टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट इट्स देयर विश बिकॉज मार्केट और इन्वायरमेंट फोर्सेज दैम टू डू दैट तो जैसे यू में अभी वेन आई आई वॉज टॉकिंग टू कपल ऑफ बिजनेस लास्ट लास्ट वीक राइट so they were saying here now i have to take 50 50% of my business happens through upi or digital channel now uh, earlier it was like 20% only right and very very uh, straight and this is b2b i'm talking about so just imagine the amount of adoption in b2c space so very very clear example why why that adoption is increasing and it will continue to you increase you have to elaborate on what you said actually agree to what you said i was in guwahati last week and a uh, saadi shop mein i went and maine kaha wo bola cash maine kaha cash nahi mere paas to sirf upi i actually had my phone only huh. because that's your behavior in bangalore in or bangalore, whatever yes, yes. so फिर वो कहीं से निकालता है यू पी आई का वो क्यू आर कोड एंड देन देन यू नो देन ही यूज सो ही इज बिकॉज ही डेंट वॉन्ट टू लेट गो ऑफ दैट ट्रांजेक्शन तो दैट इज वन रीजन दैट यू यू नो एक्नोलेज राइट सेकेंड इज गवर्नमेंट सो इफ यू इफ यू लुक एट अर्लियर ई इन वॉइसिंग वॉज एट लाइक फिफ्टी करोर देन दे ब्रॉट इट टू टेन करोर नाउ इट केम टू फाइव करोर एज सुन एज इट कम्स टू टू करोर टर्न ओवर right so invoice is basically just for the uh, understanding invoice is basically every invoice or sale that you are creating as a business you have to register with government at real time ah okay sort of real time mm. right so then they have to use a digital platform otherwise wo bill hi nahi create kar payenge to ye adoption jo hai na that is driving everybody to move towards digital channel anyway so that is the reason why i am saying it is going to be yeah. uh, it's going to just uh, speed up more no there is no going back on it so if i may add the businesses will adopt digital they have to it's been driven by the change in the consumer yeah, yeah. uh 10 years back we had uh, if i recollect less than 2 crore active internet users in this country today there are 70 crores yeah active monthly users for internet this will increase to 1.1 billion in the next 5 to 6 years time it's rapidly increasing as well secondly the diaspora is no longer you know people who want to be entertained or just communicate on internet they want to live the lives yeah. they want to learn they want to consume buy everything as far as you know the new diaspora the youth which is coming about in this country uh, for them there is no television no computer for them is the mobile wherein they learning spending interacting uh, communicating etc that user will have will eventually force the entire ecosystem of smb to go more and more digital in terms of adoption that's yeah. a major driver as well True. yeah yeah very fair point we are all seeing it across yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so coming back uh, if you had to say in vapar kya matlab agar you know for all of us and if you can share what is the adoption that you are seeing kya behaviors hai smes ka because you have built a successful uh, business when you when we talk about the behavior Uh, I see that most of them start through mobile apps. Yeah. 
सो जो जो स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट है मोबाइल ऐप रहता है तो व्यापार में वी हैव अ डेस्कटॉप ऐप विच इज़ लाइक रन कैन रन ऑन अ पी सी और अ लैपटॉप एंड देन वी हैव एंड्रॉयड विंडोज बेस्ड एंड देन वी हैव एंड्रॉयड ऐप राइट सो वॉट आई सी इज एंड्रॉयड ऐप हैज़ अ मच फास्टर एडॉप्शन एंड पीपल ट्राई यूज दैट टू ट्राई इट आउट सो दैट इज़ वन ऑफ द रीजन्स वाई आवर इन डेस्कटॉप ऑल्सो राइट आवर वन ऑफ द एक्विजिशन चैनल्स इज एक्चुअली थ्रू मोबाइल so when you ask me in the beginning right the, the price of the product so a mobile app is 600 desktop is 4500 mm. so we are able to build a good business because our uh, core revenue channel is desktop but one of the strong acquisition channel is mobile so coming back behaviors mobile is something that is easy to try so people just go and download from the play store and you know uh, try the product and once they try that gives them the confidence ki let me try it on desktop and that's how we also have built that journey to move people from uh, mobile to desktop uh, solution because those people are larger businesses they they will need a desktop solution they cannot survive only using mobile yeah. but somewhere they have to start right uh, that is one number of people who have started using the product completely online so vyapar is a unique product just to give the context vyapar is the only unique product in the world i'm using the word world world uh, which has a both offline and online solution in accounting space nobody else in the in the world has built that kind of a solution in fact i was going to come to this ki aapka jo hum kehte hain na startup world mein ki moat kya hai differentiation kya hai vyapar ka do differentiation hai to ye ye ek hai vyapar completely offline solution hai aur aap ek button on karoge to it will become completely online solution hmm. with the same everything same nothing changes for a business right to wo jo adoption hai online jane ka that is uh, increasing very rapidly right people more than 50% of the people are using the product online now online ka matlab hai ki it is still a desktop app but source of truth becomes the cloud so that is another thing that i have seen uh, rapidly changing third uh, i am seeing more and more comfort in uh, people having their bank accounts or using online payment as their mechanism for in b2b space as well uh, for example vyapar has a mechanism where they can when they are creating the invoice right they can generate यूपीआई लिंक फ्रॉम विद इन द प्रोडक्ट एंड सेंड इट टू देयर कस्टमर टू रिसीव द पेमेंट तो उसका अडोप्शन भी काफ़ी इंक्रीज हो रहा है वी हैव स्टार्टेड इंटीग्रेटिंग विद बैंक राइट क्योंकि बिजनेस के लिए एक बेसिक रिक्वायरमेंट होती है कि वॉट एवर मनी यू आर कलेक्टिंग इन द बैंक दैट हेज टू बी रिकनसाइल विद योर अकाउंटिंग बुक्स राइट तो वी स्टार्टेड कनेक्टिंग विद बैंक तो दे हैव स्टार्टेड यू नो नंबर ऑफ पीपल हु आर कम्फर्टेबल लाइक वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स बैक and the number of people who are comfortable putting their bank details into the product to pull that is increasing so i think the the mindset of adopting technology comfort of ki uh, things are safe we don't have to worry too much uh, wo badh raha hai kab samay ke sath and the more it increases better the adoption more efficient the whole ecosystem becomes sumit mujhe jo matlab you know what i'm hearing is that there is a very superior technology play over here इन वॉट व्यापार इज ऑफरिंग टू दी एस एम ईज तो उनको दिख रहा है वैल्यू तो वो आ रहे हैं और इसीलिए आपका नंबर्स ड्रो कर रहा है बट द अकबर द क्वेश्चन हीयर इज टेक ओनली कांट बी द डिफ्रेंसिएशन राइट बिकॉज यू कैन हैव अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल कमिंग एज कॉम्पिटिटर्स क्योंकि हम देख लेंगे कि अच्छा ये ये है सो जो आ सकते हैं क्योंकि पैसा बन रहा है यू हैव पेइंग एस एम ई कस्टमर्स एंड ग्रोइंग तो वॉट वुड यू से डिफ्रेंशिएट्स व्यापार इन द मार्केट कि मैं एज एन एस एम ई ब्लाइंडली ट्रस्ट आई फील सेफ एंड आई फील दैट व्यापार इज माई पार्टनर वॉट आर समोज थिंग्स तो पहली बार तो व्यापार का ट्रस्ट डे वन से नहीं था ऑब्वियसली राइट वैन क्योंकि हम यहाँ एयरटेल बिजनेस के साथ बैठे हुए हैं बिकॉज एयरटेल बिजनेस इफ आई एम डोंट वॉन्ट टू यूज द वर्ड लेगेसी बट एयरटेल बिजनेस फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस बीस साल से वी हैव हर्ड द नेम इट इट स्टैंड फॉर समथिंग तो अभी इट्स ईजियर टू मूव टू एन एयरटेल बिजनेस और व्यापार इज द न्यू किड इन द ब्लॉक करेक्ट सो तो तो मतलब जो स्टॉन्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन ट्रस्ट पहले दिन से नहीं था राइट इनिशियली वैन पीपल यूज टू कॉल Uh, when we used to call to the talk to the customers so first question was ki mera data safe hai ki nahi koi aur to access nahi kar sakta hai so data safety and security is one of the primary concerns of the businesses aur wo aaj bhi hai kuch hatta matlab well, obviously because of the world of mouth because of the brand establishment in the country now people have started becoming comfortable uh, comparatively from the past times but wo discomfort abhi bhi rehta hi hai तो जो मोट की बात करें तो एक तो यू नो ट्रस्ट बिल्ड होने वाला पार्ट है विच इज़ गोइंग हैपनिंग ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सेकंड पीस जो है व्यापार का प्रोडक्ट वी हैव बिल्ट तो एक मेजर डिफरेंस है व्यापार प्रोडक्ट इज बिल्ट फ्रॉम द व्यू ऑफ अ बिजनेसमैन 
तो जितने भी प्रोडक्ट्स एग्जिस्ट करते थे मार्केट में आप टैली बिजी मार्ग क्विक बुक्स जो कोई भी प्रोडक्ट उठा के देखेंगे इवन अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड आई वुड से राइट जो हो आप हम उठा के देखते हैं या फिर हम तो मतलब हम वी स्टडी एवरी प्रोडक्ट राइट सो दे और आर बिल्ट फ्रॉम द व्यू ऑफ अकाउंटेंट और सी I can give you concrete examples, but they are built from the view of an accountant or a CPA. Yes, yes. Right, but vyapar is built from the view of a businessman. आपको difference का example देता हूँ एक. अगर कोई business है जिसको item create करना है, तो आप किसी भी product को उठाके देखेंगे उसमें उसको income account डालना पड़ेगा, inventory asset account डालना पड़ेगा. भले ही वो default देंगे, बस उस तरह की terminology रहेगी. व्यापार जैसे प्रोडक्ट में उससे कोई मतलब ही नहीं है दे विल ओनली पुट मेरा सेल प्राइस कितना है परचेज प्राइस कितना है खत्म तो दैट मेक्स इट वेरी इजी फॉर पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड कि यार ये मेरे लिए है एंड आल्सो फॉर द लार्ज नंबर ऑफ इफ आई मे से सो क्योंकि हम पिछले दो तीन साल से वर्ड जो यूज कर रहे हैं डी टू सी कितने घरों में लोग अपना बिजनेस शुरू किए हैं सो इफ आई एम नॉट एन अकाउंटेंट एंड आई एम नॉन्टरप्रेन सेलिंग अ जूट Out of my home online, then I can use Vapor. You can use Vapor, hmm. right? Because two core principles are in our starting. Say, one, uh, the cost of the product should be so simple, uh, so less that it should not become a hindrance for people to adopt technology. Yeah. Hmm. Right? Uh, we want to charge the at the right optimum price, but because already people have friction, hai, they don't want to use, right? And we don't want to create another friction of cost. Because if the cost is more, people will say, "Let's try it later." Karte. But you will be competing in some way. If I may ask, if I may ask, yes, is that yes, with Tally and Zoho? That Zoho those competitions work. are there. So I'll we can talk more about it uh, in the second part of it of the of the answer. So one, this USP I have told you. Second, so two parts are cost and simplicity of the product. Yes. Third, the important factor that we have talked about earlier, which was being mm-hmm. offline and online, because the Indian market is not was not completely ready uh, for an online solution. अगर आप ब्राउजर बेस्ड सॉल्यूशन दोगे तो एक आ, कपड़े की दुकान में आप यूज़ नहीं कर सकते तो yeah. क्योंकि इंटरनेट है ही नहीं वहाँ पे उसने ब्रॉडबैंड नहीं लिया है राइट yeah. right? वो तो अभी भी लैपटॉप अगर खोलता है तो ही दे दे यूज़ देयर मोबाइल एंड हॉटस्पॉट ऑन करके तब वो यूज़ करते हैं इंटरनेट तो दफलाइन सोल्यूशन इज़ वेरी क्रिटिकल टू अडोप्ट टू गेट पेनेट्रेटेड इन दिस मार्केट एज मार्केट इवॉल्व राइट देन एंड ऑनलाइन विल गेट अडोप्टेड तो इसीलिए द फिलोसफी दैट आई पर्सनली बिलीव इज solve for the current prepare for the future so with offline we are solving for the current and we are completely ready for the future kyunki kewal ek button se aap online ja sakte ho avinash i want to ask you this uh, and i'll come to you uh, you it's very interesting is uh, uh, i want to ask that you were saying ki agar ek cosmetic uh, company ko stores shuru karne the so you you know you gave them the context and the intelligence just for all the startups kyunki startups today everyone is looking at their marketing spends very very Uh, in a very focused manner at least in the last one year we've all been forced to look at it very prudently uh, and i'm asking you to pitch here why do you think that you know if i have x amount of money and i want to you know maybe expand go offline or maybe create a new channel to reach my customer in a very engaging way airtel business would be the most uh, compelling partner effective partner firstly you know we have grown you know making the best of out of every rupee that we spend in terms of marketing or whatever we do it has to deliver to the highest amount of efficiency that you know being a first generation business and uh, uh, come up through very very hard times in the industry we have absolutely developed arguably the most efficient way to spend money in every aspect for example india is the among the bottom three costs as far as manufacturing a minute or a byte is concerned you know as far as telco and we do that at scale for for multiple tens of you know uh, crores of people uh we with that philosophy and with that experience with some of those technologies have stepped into the market and offered you know uh, the same to the uh, you know startup customer for example just three things we help the startup identify the user using our telco analytics mm. uh, our telco analytics keeps growing right uh, uh, we get to know our intent to get to know the you know need of the customer which is what we call intent detection um, helps us learn about as i said the past the current and the future of the customer far more better and utilizing that intent we serve the intent of the individual by connecting them to the right you know uh, need per se whether it is the 
whether it's an intent to buy a certain something, an intent for service, or intent of, you know, uh, searching for a certain something. Uh, utilizing those technology allows us to convert those statistics, the analytics, into interestingly usable data. So we connect, you know, the startups onto a platform, as I really said. They go about identifying specific cohorts, which, you know, builds efficiency as far as uh, uh, marketing costs are concerned, point number one. Point number two is uh, once the customer is onboarded, uh, he wants to purchase, the first thing which comes to his mind is, am I safe, secure, is my data safe, secure? Many startups especially, which have you know now scaled to a certain specific segment, have begun to realize that data security yeah. is competitiveness in the market. Yeah. And they address the data with you know us, which we are seeing increasingly growing as compared to you know other smaller organizations which are in the journey of you know setting up the security systems that we have. So at every level of interaction, you know uh, there are shields of uh, uh, security systems that we have deployed, which prevent you know theft of data, which prevent precious data that you have aggregated as a company about your consumer, about your behavior of your, you know, uh, types of products in the marketplace. That is not, that is safe and secure as far as Airtel is concerned. That's the second part. Third is startups are startups. They, they are used to seasonality and they're used to scale. Uh, given the size of operation that we run and uh, the size of volumes that we really process, billions and trillions of uh, messages, transactions is what we process at a given time. Uh, we are able to assure and demonstrate to the startup that if you're on our platform, scale is definitely not a concern. Scale, downtime, etc. This is unheard of as far as our platform is concerned. By and large, yes, we have our challenges in terms of onboarding. Sometimes we get into glitches in terms of custom customization to, you know, what systems they have. But once you're on, uh, achieving scale overnight at a click of a button is absolutely not a concern. So. Uh, first is uh, pinpointing your user through analytics. Second is safety security of your data. And the third is scale, such that you as an organization grow faster, you know, spend your money in a most efficient way, especially when you're a startup. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are all thinking about spending money efficiently. I am yeah. sure all startups uh, right now are thinking in that direction and everyone has to be profitable. And at the same time, have scale and growth and users. <laughs> <laughs> Everything all at the same time. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you, Sumit, uh, again, you are in a space which is, if I may say so, uh, one of the most lucrative and uh, sought after spaces, SME, be it large enterprises, to everyone is looking at you know building in this space and i'm sure you would have a lot of competition how do you differentiate how do you stay ahead and how do you look at competition so if we look at the market um, the way i see is it, there are three three categories of the products right one is uh, ledger apps kind of products uh, where uh, the products like hatha book okay credit fall into that segment uh, they that segment is not our competition because our markets are very different uh, or you can say segment is very different. That segment caters, that product, pro, those products cater to a different segment of the businesses. We cater to the next level of the segment uh, in the MSME value chain. Second category of products is Tally, Busy, Mark kind of products which existed from like 15, 20 years, 30 years. Uh, they have been catering to the MSMEs. Uh, the differentiation there that we have created is primarily from the way the product has been built. So those products, they are built for an accountant or a CA or a tax professional. They are not built for businesses from scratch. Vyapar from scratch has been built for the businesses. Our priority is business and their salesman and the chotu that works uh, in a businessman shop, right? Our priority is not the tax consultant or the C. We don't solve for them as of till now, uh, right? So that makes us very different from what they are. So their users are actually accountants or the tax professionals. Vyapar user is a businessman or their salesman. So that makes it different. Uh, third segmentation, third category of products that I see is QuickBooks, Zoho uh, kind of products, right? Which are completely online. So their segment is different because they cater to the services se se sector. Vyapar is more 
uh, you know uh, penetrated in the trading manufacturing segment it's not it's less in the services mm. so the uh, and ma- majority is and 10 to 20 not even 10 actually uh, not 20 10 15 percent are the services business in india uh, around 30 35 percent are uh, trading and then 20 30 percent are uh, manufacturing so we are catering to that segment not the services segment so that's how vyapar becomes very different from what products have been existing in the market till now when it comes to usps we talked uh, earlier one is uh, obviously cost effectiveness simplicity of the solution the way it is built for msmes yeah. not for the accountants uh, and the uh, the offline online part which is very critical for this particular segment to adopt so that makes it very different fourth thing that i want to call out which is which everybody doesn't you know uh, uh, understand from the from the beginning uh, which is support msmes needs need lots and lots of support the support has to be built from scrap from the, the day one right so in our company we had support before we had sales that way we are a very different market smes i think globally would need a lot, lot of, of uh, support, support because support. it's again a traditional industry going digital they're yeah. not digital first yes, yes. yeah so yeah. they it doesn't matter how simple you build the product they'll still need support yeah but so <laughs> mujhe question puchna hai ki aap itna acha kar rahe hain in sme space again as i said it's a very lucrative market uh, but there must be some challenges also of building and, and and operating in this space what are some of those and how are you navigating that so i will uh, segue from your previous question to this so our biggest competitor actually paper pen hai. paper pen is the biggest competitor right <laughs> so now uh, so that is the biggest competitor right kyunki abhi bhi 80% of the businesses are still using paper pen for themselves ha to wahan se if you see ki jo aapne bola na kya challenge hai so that is the challenge and i want to call this out kyunki abhi aajkal main ghoom rahi hu bahut sare shehron mein so when we are sitting in big cities, we think this challenge is not going to happen. But actually, when you go to the towns, you realize that this is a reality. Yeah. Still. Yeah. And not even like, uh, I'm not talking about only tier 2, tier 3. Tier 1, maybe you have to go to Delhi. In Delhi, you have to go to a particular area. There are hundreds of shops, right? In any shop, you have to go to software. You have to go to the paper pen pick business. Karte. So adopt biggest problem is the mindset I would say it's like the, peop- the, uh, the people realizing that technology use karke my business will become efficient uh, and it will continue to be safe and secure the way it was before you know in a way I would Wo- say that you're also helping build the category right you are building and it is it is a painstaking process and yes. it's a long process it's also long process. because market is changing people are evolving it's like evolution for the country because if you leave it for 5-6 years, you can see that for 20 years, the MSMEs have not adopted technology at all. And that is the reason why when we started the conversation, your uh, first uh, statement was that MSMEs don't technology adopt technology and that is a very slow growing market. How do you handle that? So that problem has been there for a long, long time and it exists And we can't sugarcoat or brush it under the carpet. It is a reality. That is the reality. And, and, and startups like Vepad, I would say, you're helping build the category also yes. and it's yes. a hard work it's a it's a lot of hard work but you have investors and so many investors how do your investors look at this i'm really lucky because the investors that we have got are really patient and understand this market really well you know i want to say they understand the market really well but they they are patient huh. and they have understood that this will take you time. understand the market really well <laughs> <laughs> so they uh, they are really patient and they are supportive of the fact that this market time lega huh. Right? And they have patient capital, I would say. Yeah, yeah. And uh, if I may ask, because we are talking about startup world mein profitability in the startup world, where are you in that journey? Mein? I would say the first thing is that Vyapar, as a company, we have never, uh, we have always built with a mindset that we are profitable and we public. Jana hai. We have never built the company, even when we were at the time of 2017, when we decided that we have to scale it or make it at that time also the thought process was that we will you know, build it uh, really large and become the largest business solution in the country uh, and we have to become profitable and because it's a dhandewala mindset to be honest right we don't want to build a company or sell out and then build another one that's not a mindset uh, so that's why there's no challenge for me there was nothing different for me there was no mindset for me maybe there was a challenge for me but there was no mindset for me we were already running with that mindset that we have to make it profitable quickly 
right it's just that ki investors also understood and they supported even more yeah yeah which is also very <laughs> which is good which is very good very which is good very, right? so yeah. uh, and when you the to answer that question ki kitne dur hai i think 9 to 12 months maybe max 15 months usse zyada dur nahi hai we will we are running fast towards that along with growth to growth ko bina chode profitable ki taraf bhagna hai केवल प्रॉफिटेबल होना और ग्रोथ को छोड़ देना दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट समथिंग दैट विल हेल्प राइट इट हैज़ टू गो ऑन इंड एंड वो जो बैलेंसिंग है दैट इज द कोर पीस ऑफ हाउ डू यू बिल्ड इट यू कैनॉट लीव कि मैं ग्रोथ बाद में कर लूँगा पहले प्रॉफिटेबल बन जाता हूँ वो एक्चुअली आई वुड से वो हमारा थोड़ा लग भी है क्योंकि वी रेज द कैपिटल इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड वी हैव अनफ कैपिटल द वे वी हैव बिल्ड द कंपनी फ्रॉम द पास्ट बहुत ज़्यादा बर्न नहीं था तो आई थिंक स्टार्स अलाइंड द अग्रवाल इन यू इज हेल्पिंग प्रॉब्लम अविनाश आई हैव टू आस्क यू दिस यू नो द डेटा टुडे एंड आई वाज रीडिंग दिस आरबीआई रिपोर्ट एंड दिस वाज मोर इन कॉन्टेक्स्ट विद बैंक्स दैट द डेटा व्हिच द बैंक्स आर आल्सो गेटिंग टुडे ऑल ऑफ अस एंड आई वुड एंड आई एम आस्किंग यू बिकॉज़ एयरटेल बिजनेस आल्सो इज सिटिंग ऑन सो मच ऑफ डेटा Uh, that one is that that ai adoption will be faster where the data sets are very very large and second would be uh, privacy and data security will also become a huge uh, uh, concern and again this was in context of banks that how they have to look at it proactively i just want you to talk about how do you as a retail business look at it so, okay let me cover uh, uh, security first see i personally uh, having spoken to thousands of organizations believe that security is firstly a board mindset mm. uh and unfortunately that comes in a little later in the stage of your journey or it is sort of enforced and then you spending start spending the dollar and start looking at it of course things are rapidly changing many young organizations are starting with you know security as a first principle uh as far as atl is concerned that is very thickly ingrained Uh, security of our consumer of our data is paramount um we are uh, we are among the most regulated companies today because we carry a lot of public data we are uh, you know not just a mobility provider for 35 crore customers in this country broadband etc dth we also are a bank and we carry uh, loads of transactions of financial data keep money yeah. as far as these organizations are concerned it's a regulated rbi regulated you know licensed uh, business so we at the organization at the leadership level place paramount importance of security it's as good as our sustenance as good as our you know uh, you know brand you know being tall yet another point is that we we are carriers of the internet you know Uh, nearly 40% of the internet in this country reaches users uh, from atel uh, therefore we see malware we see threat with a first you know uh, you know organization to see threat happening we deploy security systems to control that mm. to prevent that to identify that um, and that's a continuous you know upgrade that we really have so we in fact have separate set, set up a completely automated autonomous uh, security operating center basically what it does is it is continuously searching through technology what are the threats which are coming up evaluating each one of them and without any human intervention you know killing that threat uh, and then reporting it you know to us saying that this is what really happened um uh it does not wait for any human intelligence intelligence to come in it takes instant decisions basis various algorithms and again it's learning it's growing uh similarly we are an organization which will never ever utilize as i said consumer data for anything other than what the consumer really wants for example we use consumer data to plan our networks mm. if an individual is getting a call drop very basic example i'll tell you we get to learn that there is a call drop or there's a data speed slow uh, slowness which is being experienced and we immediately uh, you know plan our networks 
in that capacity. We get to know user behavior night versus day and reroute capacities, you know, uh, into locations which are active at a specific time of the day. And it just goes on and on in terms of the consumer data and what we need to basically, you know, do to our, you know, network in terms of addressing it. You spoke about AI besides security. In the last similar discussion, I explained about a strategy as to how we are firstly improving the product in terms of fault reduction. It all starts there, infrastructure, the product. How are we working about proactively resolving a problem without the customer even know, mm. right? And then how are we basically enabling digital channels to address you know, the need of the customer in a proactive way, which has got intent identification already built into it. Uh, you know, happy to say that uh, with AI coming in, machine learning coming in, we have deployed several, you know, platforms, first as experiments and some of them have achieved scale. For example, uh, all our outbound call processes today is AI led. It's a 90% human like experience wow. mm -hmm. in multiple languages, which can help you understand a billing problem, right? AI enables that for us, right? You actually talk to the app and it explains to you that you know, your payment is then ko aayi thi, itne rupee ki aayi thi, aur itna apka balance hai, usme se itna iski liye, itna uske liye hai. For example, uh, consumers just love it because you don't have to wait. That automatically dials into you and explains, you know, uh, this is what it is. Uh, we are also working on some processes which are on the inbound side wherein we automate, you know, things. AI also is helping us, uh, you know, through various statistics, pinpoint why is the customer reaching us or why is he going to reach us. Oh, right? interesting. Huh? Right? And uh, I'll give you a very basic example that if, you know, we, uh, if the customer has had a failed payment, hmm. uh, you know, and he, he has anxiety level that, you know, I did not get a message or my payment has failed, we proactively reach him out through a you know voice bot or if he's calling us on or if he's reaching out on chat we know that you have a failed payment don't worry it is getting resolved 70 percent of our customers don't even go to the next query and they feel that there is trust right yeah. this this brand knows my problem and uh, is is sensitive to my needs uh, understands me as an individual um, and trust eventually is everything so ai is actually at the you know, uh, backdrop as far as driving this. Mind you, we are an organization of scale and uh, deploying things, changing the organization, deploying technology takes that much more time. It's a Herculean effort to deploy a certain something. And we have made phenomenal progress, you know, in the last six months to one year. And the next six months to one year, again, we are intending to really scale, you know, uh, improve customer interaction through AI. Keeping security as a as a baseline, yeah. as a hallmark of what we really do. Yeah, the underlying yes. layer to everything. Yes, yeah? that's right. And that's why we trust it. And so in the closing, one or two questions I want to ask both of you, uh, you, Sumit, and Avinash, then if you could also chime in in this, is that if today I, as an entrepreneur or someone who's listening to us, wants to operate in an SME market, what are one or two things that you will tell that they have to do to be successful? What I have learned is segmentation is very important because this is not one monolithic market. It is very uh, segmented. Uh, but then what do I need to do to succeed in this market? So first the encouraging part. So first of all, people, uh, there is a mindset in many people thinking that uh, businesses don't pay. Right? MSMEs don't pay. Yeah. So that mindset I think we should not have uh, because pe people will pay. It's not the challenge of people cannot pay or they don't want to pay. It is the value of uh, realization of the value of the product that they are going, they are getting. So it is more from that angle than from the payment perspective. The uh, encouraging part is uh, we should remove that mindset that businesses don't pay. They will pay, make, uh, pay for the product that they are get, value getting. Value, if it gets, then pay. Getting. Two, baki things are basics, hai, right? One is product. Product has to be really, really strong. Uh, it has to solve the uh, purpose. The most emphasizing factor is support. If you build a business for MSMEs, you have to think support first because 
इट डजेंट मैटर हाउ गुड द प्रोडक्ट है सपोर्ट के बगैर नहीं पिक करेगा वो एंड बिजनेस वॉन्ट दैट कम्फर्ट कि इफ लेट से आई एम फेसिंग अ प्रॉब्लम समबडी इज देयर ऑन द अदर साइड टू सॉल्व इट यू नो वन क्वेश्चन अदर साइड में चैटबॉट हो तो चलेगा या दे वॉन्ट उनको उनको ये लगना नहीं चाहिए कि चैटबॉट इफ दे फील कि ये चैटबॉट है देन इट विल यू नो इट विल बी अ डिट्रैक्टर बिकॉज दे वॉन्ट सम टू कम एंड हेल्प दम अगर आप उसके लिए पैसे चार्ज कर रहे हो दे आर ओके लेकिन समवन इज देयर विद समवन समवन इज देयर टू हेल्प मी आई थिंक दीज आर द टू थ्री थिंग्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू बिल्ड फॉर दिस सेगमेंट स्पेसिफिकली आई थिंक वही हमारी भी स्ट्रेंथ है इफ यू आस्क मी प्रोडक्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग सपोर्ट बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड यू सी अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एस्पिरेशनल ड्राइव बिकॉज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट आई फील अबाउट जो नाई आई लव द स्टार्ट अप स्पेस फॉर वट एवर नेगेटिव दैट वी आर हियरिंग इज एंड दैट वन सीज अक्रॉस इंडिया दैट यंग पीपल आर सो एस्पिरेशनल दे आर वेरी अनपोलिजिटिक दैट हम बनाएंगे और बना सकते हैं लार्ज बिजनेस एंड न्यू एज बिजनेस डू यू सी दैट स्केल माइंड सेट ग्रोथ माइंड सेट इन एस एम ईज वो चैलेंज है मतलब पीपल डोंट द एस्पिरेशन आर नॉट दैट हाई फॉर इन इन द बिजनेस सेगमेंट राइट बट आई थिंक वो ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इम्प्रूव हो जाएगा वो बिहेवियर चेंज है राइट अगर अगर आप मतलब वेन द पीपल हुआ रनिंग द बिजनेस फॉर लाइक फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स एंड देर सेटिंग इन द सेम प्लेस इन द सेम शॉप फॉर फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ईयर्स राइट तो समय के साथ उनके अंदर डाई डाउन हो गया है लेकिन द यंग पीपल देयर देयर सन्स देयर फैमिली मेम्बर्स हुआ जॉइनिंग और लाइंग इन द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी फाइव फोर्टी की रेंज में जो है वहाँ पर वो है एस्पिरेशन तो आई थिंक वो समय के साथ अपने आप ही सॉल्व हो जाएगा उसको हम और आप सॉल्व कर भी नहीं सकते right that is because yeah. of behavior and uh, adoption wala part hai my view is that ki pehle to agar aapko smb segment mein jana hai especially small and medium uh, especially a small becho mat unko kuch you have to really understand yeah. their need you know there are three uh, segments which are trying to approach smb broadly one is smb selling to smb they are reasonably successful but obviously they don't have scale whether it's ambition or whatever it is secondly if you see enterprise trying to sell to smb yes, with an enterprise yes. mindset that doesn't really work yes. you know as such and this is the reason why the brands that you see in enterprise getting consumed in smb are totally different totally different i mean there are barely four five enterprise organizations that you can talk about which are large enterprise organizations which are sellers so the service uh, servicing products which have presence in all layers i mean aws is one example that you can talk about but very very few so first you have to understand you know them uh, what really works uh, i think the mistake that some of the organizations are making is that first they look at market size how much can we earn it doesn't really work like that <laughs> the third segment which is trying to sell to smb which is the most popular most well established successful you know affair are the startups you know as such the reason that they are have grown to such an extent that they have spent time in a very humble way to understand realities of problems of psyches you know etc so that's the first thing becho uh, mat let's understand you know them the therefore your product falls into place therefore yeah. you know use falls yeah. into place etc like their part has a simple product for the absolutely, yeah yeah absolutely yeah. Right. the second is trust um you know paper pencil is there because in many a case it's resistance to go online and many a case it is trust the worst examples that we have seen is that people have already gone online but still they maintain a paper pencil ledger because end of the day you compare <laughs> ki this is working yeah, you yeah, know yeah, or not yeah i'm not too sure when did you last go and check amazon in the month how many you know payments are made whether the returns you know payments were refunded in the bank account none of us really do that at least i don't so the trust has to be enabled it's a slow process uh, but that has to be center focus when you approach uh, uh, you know an smb is already on boarded that you trust me you trust me i made a mistake i'm correcting it i made a mistake 6 months back you didn't realize i'm correcting it right there's nothing better to go and acknowledge uh, you know that and many organizations i see doing doing this very very well trust the second is service support smb does not think themselves to be smb 
they think themselves i'm the biggest company today <laughs> around they demand attention they have problems which are very real and they don't have the resources to set up and consume as you know as an enterprise have i mean there's an enterprise there's a tech leader there's a marketing guy and all that wahan pe there are two three people who are doing everything right um my favorite example i'm sort of you know you know uh, getting into this example as such that we offered routers free with our internet to smb category and i thought you know smb would give an arm and enterprise would give an arm and like this was 5 years back many routers were shipped but none of them got activated <laughs> because the smb guy said i don't know how to configure this ye to main samajh sakti hu yeah exactly exactly so cost to so service is about it's not about the intent to serve it's the cost to serve yeah the ticket size of an smb customer is so small that you cannot afford to send an individual to his mm. you know place to basically support him so everything has to be self serve digitized proactive available on a simple screen the minute you start putting in very advanced set of resources to serve an smb customer which is very small the smb will be happy but your business will collapse yeah this model very few organizations have been able to crack in terms of cost effective support so basically three things really deep level understanding of what they are second is trust and the third is you know service and support are vital besides the fact that you set up a product you set up a go to market you set up you know what do we really have in terms of a brand so that's the few points that i thought i'll share you know i did that's why i enjoy talking to you because your understanding of smes is very real and i this router example i think should stay with all of us ki agar bhej rahe hain product aur service agar baat kar rahe hain to kya like yeah we don't have to think from our lens but from their lens yes yes Sumit, kya expect kar sakte hain? We are in 2024, still the first quarter. What should we expect from Vepar? Or aaj kal saare startups IPO ki taraf ja rahe hain, bade bade funded. What is uh, your plan? So obviously, as I said earlier, we will, uh, we are, we will uh, go in that direction, and we are already heading towards that. Uh, the target is, the vision is basically to become the largest business solution in the country. uh we we are working on solving the end to end integrated problem starting from billing from the business to the accountant and the cas tax filing part so it's a uh, it's a complete uh, end to end uh, spectrum that we are covering uh and market is very very large i think it's beyond it's much larger than <laughs> our imagination yeah uh, so i think uh, in the next 4 to 5 years we plan to uh, look at the prospective of becoming public yeah you know and also it is very heartening for all of us that whatever ups and downs might come what what none of us can disagree to is that the indian domestic market and the indian sme market is a very large and if we serve them well a paying market and you can go on to build large businesses large revenue definitely yeah. Thank you so much it was wonderful talking to both of you and I'm hoping that all of us had a lot of takeaways and learning from this conversation thank you thank Thanks. you thanks so much